All right, it's time for another thrifting episode. We're stopping at Goodwill, and I've been to this one in a long time, and they are just loaded for bear with VHS tapes, I gotta say. Not a ton of really interesting stuff, although, look at these things. They are, I don't know, Italian, Spanish, yeah, Spanish? I don't, I'm not a, I'm not a worldly kind of fella, but, uh, there's a bunch of bizarre looking, uh, sorry my focus is not dialing in, but all sorts of weird horror, exploitation, booby comedies, all sorts of stuff. Weird. And you know I'm always on the lookout for ugly furniture, and I, I assume these were a waiting room chairs in some office in the 90s. And looking through the electronics, I found this sweet little tape deck, just all... I guess probably early 90s out, more than 80s out, but it's my kind of system. I love the the look, the black, sleek. It was actually pretty uh, surprisingly uh, heavy-duty feeling for kind of the plastic look. And then I saw these, and these are some nice joysticks, and they're actually, if you look at the connector, that is an Atari connection. So these are heavier-duty joysticks than I've seen for the Atari before. What, and then, oh my god, of course, this is such a find. I wish it was a VHS and not the VHS compact model. Uh, the, the VHS version of this is the camcorder that Marty McFly uses in Back to the Future, but really, really neat to see. And I do not know what Skittle Pool is, but it looks awesome. This is a huge box. It's probably, I don't know, three feet by three feet. It says the, an Aurora TV game down there in the corner, but really, really cool. And then speaking of games, look at this VCR baseball. That's right. It's another VCR uh, board game, I guess, or VCR combined with a board game. I've never seen this one before. Uh... I have no idea even exactly how you would play it, but uh, the the VHS game library is definitely growing. Really, really cool. On to Savers. One of my favorite spots, a spot I've been coming for the last 20 years or so. Uh, looking through, they got a lot of books. Uh, I saw this. Meg and the Disappearing Diamonds. From the look on her face, I think I know where the diamonds are. They're in that cat's uh, per cruising and perusing, or perusing and carousing a little more, we found, ooh, the official story of the Spice Girls. I'll probably grab this to read the articles. Yeah. And looking through the electronics here, some of the game stuff. Uh, we've got some plug-and-play games, nothing super exciting. The Jeopardy or Wheel of Fortune. This plug-and-play golf game is pretty cool. I actually have that already. I bought it many, many years ago. And then this is... It's a turn it into a joystick day. This is a cool-looking joystick. And that right there, that's an NES connector. So that's a third-party joystick controller for the Nintendo. <laughs> Give me my money. <laughs> Sorry. I just... Uh, I thought that was really weird. I, I don't know what it is. He's got a little mouse in his back pocket. I mean, it's Scrooge, but what does it do? This is late. Girls, do not fall for the bad boy. I'm telling you, it just doesn't end well. Uh, lots and lots of workout DVDs. Unfortunately, they had practically nothing for VHS tapes. Just a little bit of the the usual Disney stuff. A little bit. There's, you know, once again, not necessarily terrible stuff, just stuff I don't need. And so that was a cool little thing. So this, this is a weird like sound machine uh, and it has a womb sound on it. I don't know if that would make me feel good. And then here's a, uh, I thought this was cool, a an old answering machine, but the tape is still in it. I kind of wanted to buy it just to hear if there were messages still on that tape. And then this is a beast. This is a photo, a film enlarger. 
Uh, so this is for people who develop film the old-fashioned way, photographs the old-fashioned way. I loved photography uh, in high school, and I always toyed with the idea of setting up a a dark room in my basement. And I've never seen an old like a color photo beast like that. That's what the color knobs are on the front. This is for developing color film. Really neat. And looking through the toys, I spot Optimus Primal. That's right. Anybody uh, who knows Transformers Beast Wars knows uh, Optimus Primal is the leader of the Maximals. And then here's a some form of Megatron that I don't know what that's from. We'll put those guys back together. And finally, we're going to stop at Axeman Surplus. It's a great, again, another place that I've been coming since I was a little, little kid. They have so many weird things. Look at $14.95 for all these medical displays. I was very tempted, we, uh, ghoulishly tempted by these. Uh, this place is filled with so much stuff to look at, uh, so many odds and ends, and it's, it's just a, it's like I'm a kid in a candy store when I go to this place. This is a time-lapse VCR. So I assume it would be for like a security system or something like that back in the day. Really cool. And then I hit pay dirt. I did, I, I did not, I've never seen VHS tapes at Axeman before. And now this giant load is dropped into my lap. Uh, unfortunately, it's a lot of a lot of crap. But look at this! It there was actually a handful of Betamax tapes in there. Tina Turner. What's love got to do with it? I, I don't know. Death Games. Again, these are uh, Betamax tapes, and then they had some blank Betamaxes, which I've never. I don't know if I've ever seen a blank Beta tape before. It had some fun movies, The Fly and The Fly 2. Here's what, if you've never seen a Betamax tape, this is what they look like. They're much smaller than a VHS tape. And this right here is the crown jewel. Children's Palace presents a toy catalog on videotape. I think it was from 1990 or 91. Uh, this, is, this is a holy grail for someone so consumed by nostalgia I, I have to say i did watch this right away when i got home it's factory sealed i busted the plastic on this bad boy and uh it was worth uh i mean not just worth every penny because it, it only cost me like 25 cents or whatever but it it is incredible uh copyright uh in, in, copyright infringement pending I will definitely put this up on the website for, or up on the channel for, for copyright purposes, but uh, I think that is going to be it. We just did a quick spin around the block, hit up a few places. Thank you everybody so much for watching, and I will catch all you dirty dogs and you alley cats on the flip side. Bye-bye.